This video was sponsored by Brilliant. So I found this kind of interesting, and for those who have no idea how to play poker, no worries, you don't need to for this video. So, here we have all possible poker hands ranked from best to worst. The best hand you can get is a royal flush, 10 through ace, all same suit. Next best hand is a straight flush, then four of a kind, all the way down to a single pair. And then the worst hand is the high card, which basically just means you have none of the hands above. As most of you probably know, this ranking is based on how likely each hand is to show up. The less likely, the higher it's ranked. Like, there are only four ways to get a royal flush. There are 36 ways to get a straight flush. That isn't a royal flush, so a little more likely. There are 624 ways to get a four of a kind, and here are the rest of the numbers, getting more and more likely as you go down. The total number of possible hands is just over 2.5 million, which is equal to 52 choose 5, as expected, since the poker hands we're dealing with involve 5 cards per person from a single 52 card deck. Alright, now here comes the fun. We're going to introduce a wild card to this deck. Let's just say a single joker is added to the deck, that's the wild card. So now we have 53 cards instead of 52. And if you're dealt the joker, then it can be whatever card you would like. So really whatever makes your hand the strongest. If you were dealt this hand, you have a single pair, the sevens, without the joker. So the best thing to do is let the joker also be a seven, so you get a three of a kind. If you were to let the joker be a 4, for example, that'd give you 2 pair, which is not as strong a hand, and of course we're going for the best hand. So, that's how the joker works. Now, here's the fun question. When playing poker with a single wild card, do we need to adjust the rankings, such that they are still ordered by probability? As in, by introducing a wild card, is it possible that now getting, I don't know, like a flush is actually less likely than a full house and thus should be ranked higher? Or whatever, do we need to reorder this list? Well, we definitely can't leave everything alone because with a wild card, five of a kinds are now possible. If a joker can truly be any card, then you could make this hand into a five of a kind. And a five of a kind would actually be the least likely hand to get, meaning it ranks above a royal flush. There are only 13 ways to get a five of a kind, and 24 ways to get a royal flush now, with a joker introduced. But now we can't add any more types of hands. We gotta use what we have here, and with that, should the order be changed, or is this it? I'm just gonna tell you guys the answer, so if you don't want it spoiled, pause now. The answer is, when a wild card is introduced, there is no possible way to order these hands based on probability. That's weird, but the reason can be found in these two hands, the two pair and the three of a kind. That's where the weirdness lies. Let's see why. Assume we keep the order the exact same when the wild card is introduced. We don't even care about probabilities right now. We're just gonna declare, hey, three of a kind still beats two pair. So that means whenever you're dealt a hand with one pair and a joker, like we saw earlier, you're going to declare the joker to be a seven, or whatever makes that three of a kind, as we're really forcing that best hand. So now there are more ways to get this three of a kind than before. You can get it normally with no jokers, and as we saw, there are 54,912 ways to do so. But now we got to include all the hands that have a single pair along with a joker. Those are always three of a kinds. So doing the math, you get a total of 137,280 ways to now get a three of a kind. For those who care, that is found with this here. The normal ways to get three of a kind plus all possible one pair plus joker hands. But now check this out. For two pair, there are 123,552 ways to get it naturally. No jokers in your hand. When you have a joker in your hand, there are, ready, zero ways to have two pair based on our rankings. Like if you have your joker and already two pair, you're of course gonna make a full house. Turn that joker into a five in this case. If you have a single pair and a joker, you're gonna make a three of a kind because it's ranked higher. So if you have a joker in your hand, you'll never use it to make two pair. Which means there are still only 
123,552 ways to get two pair. Only natural, nothing more. Making it less likely than three of a kind. And that means we need to switch the order. Because two pair is less likely, it must beat three of a kind. But, oh boy, that changes what we do when dealt a single pair with a joker. Remember before we would use the joker to make this a three of a kind? But with two pair now ranked higher, we'll instead turn that joker into a 10 to make two pair, the new best possible hand we can make here. So now there are more ways to make two pair. All the 123,552 natural ways, plus all the ways you can get a single pair plus a joker, which is the same calculation as before. And you get a total of this here. For three of a kind, there are, again, the 54,912 natural ways, plus nothing else in this case. Because now, if your hand has a joker, you'll never use it to make a three of a kind. The only scenario would be where, again, you have one pair, but now you'll use that joker to make two pair, because it's ranked higher. So now we only have 54,912 ways to get three of a kind, which makes it less likely than two pair. So it should be ranked higher. And we found our paradox. This just goes back and forth. It's all about that joker plus one pair hand that gives us issues. Whichever hand is ranked higher, two pair or three of a kind, leads to more ways to get that hand, meaning it should not be ranked higher. That's the only place in the ranking where the paradox occurs, but here are the tables of possibilities for when you have a three of a kind ranked higher and when you have two pair ranked higher. In each case, you'll notice those hands are ordered incorrectly. It doesn't matter what we do. So assuming we must stick to traditional poker hands as we know them, once you introduce a wild card, there is no possible way to order this list based on probability. And this applies when more than one joker is introduced as well. So that's about it for this video, but to continue challenging yourself with math problems similar to what we saw here, I definitely recommend checking out Brilliant, the sponsor of this video. Brilliant is an amazing tool for learning STEM topics interactively. They have over 70 courses ranging from geometry and algebra fundamentals to advanced differential equations to contest math where you're going to find some math competition problems along with their clever solutions and tips to utilize these strategies. What I love about Brilliant is how truly interactive everything is. Courses come with constant practice problems along with intuitive visuals that give you a much deeper understanding of even the more advanced topics. So you don't just learn the necessary equations, but you learn how to apply the concepts to the world around you. And with this platform, you can learn at your own pace, on the go, and there's always something new to explore no matter what your level of education. So to get started right now, go to brilliant.org slash ZachStar or click the link below and the first 200 people to sign up will get 20% off their annual premium subscription. And with that, going to end that video there. Thanks as always to my supporters on Patreon and I'll see you guys in the next video.